What's up guys? This is the Roefman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off happened last time, we stormed in and took Niagara and Cayuga, but the knock-on effect is they do not like us very much. Actually, the people of Niagara don't hate us too much. So much so, I could maybe even pinch some units and go and put Michigan under siege. So if I take the cavalry and one unit of infantry, Any further orders? I think that might have even made yes, them happier. Ready if I do this, order. that's a full army. You can march on Ready Fort Ponchartrain and continue, well, continue our efforts. We also have the Russians running around doing bad stuff around Vilnius. Um, but I'm reluctant to push out and do anything. So if we push out and hit the territory and fall back, then we might just be asking the Poles to come in and try and take us. Which, if they did, that'd be hilarious, because these Irregulars will not, would not capture the walls. We're one turn away from four-field crop rotation, which is pretty handy. Let's hit end turn. Rogers Rangers are moving to the south. But right, yeah, right now, things are going... Things are going okay. We're, we're able to expand in the Americas safely enough. I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned about our exposure in the. God, are Fran Spain going to invade Paris? Um, I'm a bit concerned about my exposure in Eastern Europe, but again, it does spice things up a bit. Russia is gathering troops. It looks like they might be readying for an actual assault on us at Vilnius, so that will be a bit of a bit of a bloody repulse that will have to be fought. But we have advanced bayonets, so we should be able to chase them off fairly well. I suppose the reason why that not that Iroquois territory is particularly resolute is because it is their capital, after all. So we can't be surprised that they dislike us so much. Maybe the tactical decision might have been to build a coaching house to try and get some happiness in the region. That still might be the right course of action. It wouldn't be, take too long to rectify such a decision. Comptroller, plus two to management for treasury, minus four bonus to global tax income. Oh, okay, right. He's, a, he's got a brilliant mathematical mind and he can he's ripping everyone off. Okay, we don't want corporate rotation. We want... Cadence marching gets us Royal Welch Fusiliers. We might get government by consent. Reduces unhappiness. Reduces happiness, but uh, it gets us the extra wealth per turn to town. Extra... Plus four per turn to town well, which is really good. Let's get some farm upgrades. So it looks like England's going to be... Well, England, Scotland and Ireland are going to be benefiting from the farming dividend. And lots of good farms. Keep expanding, keep you, you push around, or keep pushing on. Uh, how goes the conversion of Quebec? It's going pretty good. Probably look to get rid of the last religious unrest and then send my guy over to Montreal, begin converting. God, they're converting real quick. Okay, well next turn it looks like we're going to destroy this church school and rebuild it as a happiness building. The tented farms were built, yeah we know. Let's push south. I could, I could maybe push against them, but I don't want to take the risk. Okay, let let them get in the way. Uh, we recruited a unit of line infantry again, just to bolster the garrison of Königsberg a little bit more. The Russians might be attempting a two-pronged attack, but to be honest, lots of their infantry is militia. But it is melee militia. Melee attack eleven. 
See, my melee attack's only six, so I would require... I would uh, require a lot of damage to be done to them prior to attacking the walls, which is definitely doable. We've got lots of infantry to hold them off. Okay. Jethro Tull, industrial genius. Okay, let's hit and turn. So we may see a Russian siege or even assault of Vilnius. Or they may attempt to just run around us and, tr and uh, raid us. I am a bit vulnerable leaving my territories in the hands of, po of um, Prussia. Good. Please raid as well. I'm okay with you raiding. It's a bit disconcerting because it means that they are going to surround my region. So maybe at the same time while I'm doing all these economic upgrades, I parcel some money off to build a small force in Königsberg to try and push forward and clear out our Polish lands of Russian troops. Sorry. Hopefully Genoa is sufficiently busy with all the, the Ottomans pushing in in the Med and the French being swines. The Moroccans have failed a rebellion. Bon Vista, Newfoundland. Okay, build you to be a craft workshop. First of all, what did I say? Let's buff up our forces in Konigsberg a little bit. We are starting to run into... Okay, so now the territory is 100% Protestant, so let's demolish it and rebuild it as a church school. Before we... Well, I suppose we need some money. So let's go take out Fort Pontchartrain and go and, well, destroy the last remaining holdouts of the Okra Confederacy. We've done some pretty... pretty big damage to the native factions. And then as my forces grow, we'll be ready to strike south and bring the 13 colonies to bear against the enemy which right now is Russia Russia and the Marathas so let's try and do what we did last time let's have a strong infantry center actually that's probably group See, I like I really like having a, this long infantry centre because it means if you get the overlap, the overlap, then you start to do a lot of damage firing into the flanks. And even though my militia are my quote-unquote flanking forces, more often than not, we've probably got we've overextended past their line with our infantry as it is. That's the, oh, that is my Irish. I thought that was a skirmisher unit. Got a lot of cavalry on the field, so I need to be careful with my pikes. And make sure I put them in the best positions. Expect them to come on in a significant quantity. I okay, there's a big block of lances on the flank. So my pikes, you want to be ready. Alongside my regiment of horse. Do some good damage to them. Lancers scouting around in front of my men. Drop them both into square. Push this cavalry up, try and spook them. Charge my pikes in. They've got a good charge off against the Hessian line.
but they are lancers, which means that they're they're going to start running out of they're going to start running out of puff. Following the initial charge, we're going to run down this musketman. If you want some pikemen, get involved. Get men out of square into line. Those units of well, this force of armed tribesmen has been repulsed. Keep attacking the musketmen. Chief's bodyguard way at the back. Don't want to commit my muskets in there yet. It's important we shatter any men that survive. Just to make sure they don't come back and cause problems. You can charge the medicine men. Okay, commit to the pikes. It would appear the armed tribesmen are still up to their tricks. You can snipe at the chief's bodyguard at the back of the map. Wheel my cavalry around to engage those musketmen. Yeah, my infantry starting to get upset at all the melee combat going on. Okay, they're both shattered. Pull my cavalry back. take it's a wing of infantry push them up successfully repulsed those attacks so my men can stop firing at those chaps there keep my cavalry pushing on To be honest, I should run my cavalry behind and let them shoot. If they're going to be silly like that. So my artillery is after the native warriors. Not a bad target though. They're going to get mowed down, as are these musketmen. Let's keep probing with my cavalry forward. Good, there, Shattered. Yeah, just avoid... Avoid those native warriors. My job is going to be to find... where the rest of the swine have decided to... Because they'll be around here somewhere. Pretty sure that's not all of them. Okay, they're shattered, shattered. Okay, there's medicine men are routing. Let's group my cavalry together. Swarm that native warrior unit. Then pretty much combine after we've destroyed this force here. We will, there you go, shattered, now go charge down the general, because it looks like that's it. I'm going to definitely want my chief's bodyguard involved. Not my chief's bodyguard, my regiment of horse. Aha! Charge in my cavalry. Oh god, no, don't! <laughs> Oh, there's always more. Can you charge them just to slow them down enough for my line infantry to form up? Hold the line, yeomanry. 
In the name of the Emperor, you will not falter. Yeah, they may get mown down, but they will have done their job. Doesn't help I've left my pikes so far behind, but whatever. Got my men. They're reloaded. And they're pouring fire in. So much death. Some of my infantry are upset. It's understandable, really. They are being charged by men with really big axes. My militia are getting some free pot, shof pot shots off at the yeomanry, at the uh, chief's bodyguard, but it looks like they're not going to get him. So my yeomanry is going to have a go. Fifteenth Regiment of Foot is going to get. It's a lot of troops. This is why we have our pike reserves. My militiamen are also going to charge the chief's bodyguard to make sure he does go down. Yeah, my volunteer infantry are, look, are very upset at the predicament that they have been presented but let's surround the enemy infantry my men are starting to get very upset but don't worry the pikes are here you don't you just actually you just charge don't shoot into the back of them that's just going to upset everyone Yeah, they might have broken my Irish volunteers, but everyone else is going to stick around. The general's been killed in a different combat. The native warriors think things are going well. Okay, the combat on the right has shown them to be not true warriors. There we go. They have been annihilated. Awesome. It's another region for our empire. Good, we've lost a thousand men. That's quite a lot more than I'd like. But let's knock down the tribal drill grounds, knock down the farmland. There's a lot of towns here that can grow. We've opened borders with Louisiana, which might open up new areas, avenues of conflict. 5,000 to retrain these men. My, my. It's going to take a few turns. Okay, let's hit end turn, because we've got no money. For orders. Going to need... Well, you'd spend a lot of money in the Americas. You've got to spend money to make money. But we've knocked down the church school in Niagara, now that they've they've been 100% converted. Ooh, the Prussians are causing problems for the, pole, for the Poles. Uh, no, I do not want to give you technology, and I don't want 600 cash not interested uh oh at some point they're going to mass their troops <laughs> near me and then that's going to be the end of that force in St. Petersburg Louisiana's declared on me don't call my allies I don't want them to join they've not been joined by France critically that means my army in Niagara, they're going to push through Louisiana then. We're going to swing through um, swing through the native con the American continent, north to south. I look forward to engaging them in the battlefield. On the battlefield. Engaging them in the battlefield. How dumb is that? Well, the Cherokee are advancing north. They're heading towards Niagara. If I were a betting man... Which I am not.
so lots of good farming upgrades i would wager they're going for niagara it's depleted force mostly bowmen i cannot spend all my money replenishing that army i just can't do it if you've got a coaching in can i shift Okay, I can shift a good chunk of my men. It will up upset them, but it won't cause me to lose the territory. Let's get some a turn's worth of infantry recruited. I get government council in four turns. That will add extra repression. I just want to upgrade the magistrate here and this farm. Maybe, maybe this farm as well. Okay, I think I do want to get the government council. Then pick up this chap here and, uh, and replenish as many men as we can with the extra money we've got. Yes. Do I put them under siege? Trouble is, you've seen how good pikes. I've got lots of elite infantry. You guys could probably fight that. You guys watching me. Um, but I'm I'm okay not doing that. Hopefully, the entertainment and culture will really start to help. One more turn to get the next level fire, a uh, next level um, coke blast furnace. Let's hit end turn. The problem is, is as much as I like my Eastern European Empire, it is kind of second fiddle to my. Uh, gains in the colonies. So I will hold on to my territory, absolutely. But if it comes down to, you know, right, I can't afford both fronts, where is it going to be? The answer has to be the Americas, it just has to be. Because that's where we can actually make a bucket load of cash. Most of the time, in most British campaigns, you don't even really want to be bothered fighting outside of the Americas because you want to get the, the, the 13 colonies part of your faction. That's usually where you spend your time. Yeah, they're pushing up. Okay. Hey, the pirates have actually... Oh, nope, they've changed their minds. Let's get you into Algonquin Territory. Can two units of pikes leave? Anything more. Oh, the pikes are pretty good. I don't like the pikes leaving. What if I just send another unit of infantry away? That's quite an important distinction. They don't like either of those things. Okay, well, let's immediately send some troops south. Let's keep recruiting. Probably drop infantry in here. Pikes towards the new town. Massive exodus of people from Europe coming down here. Okay, we can now fully recruit everyone. Let's upgrade these farms as well. Because as this force grows, we can knock back the Cherokee, push them south of the river here. Then this army here can push against Louisiana. Peasant farms have been upgraded. As has craft workshops here in Newfoundland. These, we need roads. Lots of places. They just need road upgrades. 6,000 next turn. This trade is being interrupted. Come on, trade with me. Okay, the Barbary States probably won't trade with me. Not for a second there. Yeah, that's those troops you've recruited and dispatched south with all speed. If you can recruit well, you, could recruit, you could actually recruit Hessian line right there. Oh no. Capacity reached. Darn. Well, we didn't lose anything. So they could... If they sieged us, I think we'd probably... Well, we would win, I think. 
We don't have the cavalry that's really good against bowmen, though. That's the problem. bulk of my cavalry here is pretty weak. Unless I cancel the recruitment of the infantry. Get two colonial light and try and run them down. We might not get there in time. We might end up needing to sally the government forces of uh, the former Erica capital. If they attack me, they will likely attack me and seize the territory immediately and destroy everything we've got. There's no reason for them to, to hold on and attempt to... Um, there's no point for them to attempt to uh, wait. Waiting for them in that instance provides no advantage. If they wait, we can mobilise more men and get men south. Yeah, Louisiana's being cheeky, sending their agents in to try and sow religious discord. But it's not going to matter. Not in the slightest. Oh good, they did just raid. Perfect. Very well. We're going to slowly navigate most of our troops out of Niagara. Okay, they, they're so angry they broke their coaching in. Okay, let's send the troops straight down to Niagara immediately. Let's send the cavalry with them. And let's pick up another Colonial Dragoons to push south as well. A new town in Manchester. Craft workshops, please. Actually, strategically a coaching in might be better with these two schools. Government by consent. Okay, so everyone's a little bit more unhappy. You do not need to do seed drills, seed planting drills. You want to go for socket bayonet to improve our melee combat abilities. You can carry on with utilitarianism. Okay, My farms would be pretty handy as well. Especially as I've, if I get the seed planting drill. I'm going to be building a lot of plantations and farms as I push through the US. Two ports blockaded. We've upgraded some of our holdings here. And we can also upgrade building in Niagara. But do you want to do that? No. You want to get some roads. Let's probably get the roads that favour reinforcements south. So if we can upgrade the roads in Montreal, my men can get down to the front line faster. New men are still replenishing. If I try and fix this farm, will that pull the Cherokee south? And can I move out Elias Haskell? Ready and I can. Ready and order. Take up command of the new force. I want to keep them sweet till I've got the coaching in up and ready. Every turn, the resistance to foreign occupation should, will go down. Capering loon. God damn it, John Locke. Yeah, they rioted. They... We're upset. What are we going to do? We're going to break the one building that brings us happiness. Come on, Spain. Do something. Either attack Paris or don't. Don't just run around in their territory being annoying. Russia's really starting to push a lot of troops our direction. Push a lot of troops our direction. Although, to be honest, I think now I've probably got... I'm confident enough in my abilities with the troops at my disposal in North America to feel happier about building up a force in Königsberg and pushing east. You devils. Get some, get some infantry built, and let's start pushing against the damn Russians. Although we've not got much money at all. 
Um, Königsberg. Get some 12 pounders. We can push out, knock out, well, eventually knock out, push out this army. Push out the various armies. Maybe, well, this army would probably sit in Vilnius while the, next, the other one moved north. Do they take Riga? Maybe. No, they probably push straight on to St. Petersburg and attempt to broker a peace with Russia. Some good farm upgrades. I mean, if the Louisiana wants to try it. <gasps> Theodore! No! Not Theodore! Not Theodore! I'm going to destroy him. Okay, let's combine my men and my cavalry. Upgrade the coaching in straight away. Can I please have a unit of pikes? Awaiting further orders. Take ready. I might keep them in there. <laughs> it only goes down to minus one, but they were raiding last turn, so they that might keep the uh, the clock going. Once these cavalry are in, this army's ready to push south. Knock out the Cherokee, push them out of our territory, and drive south. Some new chaps keep recruiting. Be ready. We will be ready. Okay, good. Let's hit end turn. The Dutch lost a bunch of ships to the French there. Good. Good job, United Provinces. Good job. The French are sparring near Paris, but they've still not laid siege to it. Don't worry, Prussia. I am no threat to you. I am securing your northern flank. Push south. Stay away from my men. A lot. The Russia's recruiting a lot of men. To be honest, if I recruit enough troops, I can send armies against Riga and Sevastopol. Not Sevastopol. Um, uh, St. Petersburg. I can send an army against both. Yep. Raid right away, Cherokee. Raid right away. These aren't even my lands. You're you're killing you're killing native population stuff. How dare you! Something sloop. Detach a fifth rate to destroy the sloop. The oceans are ours. Free open, free up global trade. New nation rises. The Italian states. Well, they successfully rebelled and threw the Ottomans out of Rome. Rookies. Yes. March. March. Can you leave Pikes? Yes, Pikes can leave now. Yes, Good. Good. Let's make sure we're not upgrading that because it's about to die. Oh, it's about to get raided. Königsberg, get. Two grenadiers. And soon you will be ready. This army obviously is hunkered down because there's threats everywhere. Coaching in Bill in Manchester, which is good. The Americas. Well, to be honest, things in general are going pretty good. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time because we're actually going to be in quite a good position to now. I would like the Louisianans to move in, attack me. I repel them, then I move out and finish them off. Then these forces knock out this Cherokee force, and then they drive south towards Teleco. But that is for future episodes. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.